Hello and welcome to the fourth part of this Photoshop tutorial. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you're going to make a gradient filled text. So the first thing you do is press letter T on the keyboard for text. Hold down the left mouse button to how big the text will be. Okay, let's choose a font. Okay, let's pick Arial Black. Okay, so if you see the blinking cursor, you can start typing. So let's just type my name in there. Okay, so enclose the text with the resize controls. There we go. And then drag it to make it bigger. So before you rasterize this, make sure you're okay with your font and your text. Okay, so now let's rasterize the text. Okay, so let's use the magic wand to select the text. While selected, uh, click the right mouse button and choose similar. Okay, now as you can see, the whole text is selected. Click on the paint bucket tool or G and change it to gradient. So now we have to choose a color gradient. So go to the top left under edit and let's pick a gradient. Let's choose a rainbow color. So what you do is you click outside of the text, hold it down and then drag it across the text. And there you have your rainbow colored gradient text. So let's click blending options again and let's give it a black stroke. So there you have it, a rainbow colored text. Okay, the next thing we're going to learn is how to use the pen tool and how to make selections and do cutouts. Okay, so what if I only wanted to cut out the bride and groom from this picture? Okay, first let's crop this into a four by six inches size. Select the pen tool or P and start making a path around the couple. Okay, all the way around until you close your path. Okay, just keep making points until you close the entire path. So this is just an example. Um, you can make a finer cut out. Okay, now that we closed our path, hit the right mouse button and press make selection. You have the option to select the amount of feather in your cutout, or that means how soft the edges will be. Let's make it 2 pixels. Hit OK, and then your path turns into, um, it kind of looks like ants following following a single line around the cutout, that is your selection. Okay, copy that by hitting Control C and let's go to our empty document. Hit Control V and voila, there it is. And that is how you use the pen tool to cut out photos. Now let's use shapes as paths to make cutouts. 
Use the custom shape tool or press letter U on the keyboard. So here are all the shapes you can use as cutouts. Okay, let's use a heart shape to make a cutout. On the left, you have the option to use shape, path, or pixels. So let's choose shape. Okay, let's make a regular heart shape layer in colored pink. Okay, there we go. We have a heart shape. Okay, so here we have a picture of a bride. And let's put her in a heart frame. Okay, hold down the left mouse button and drag diagonally downward. Use the space bar if you need to position the heart. Okay, I think we have her frame. Okay, hit pen tool or P and then right click once again, make selection. And okay. Okay, now you have your selection again. Okay, now we have cut the shape out using the heart. Press Control Shift I to invert the selection and remove everything else. So that is it for my Photoshop tutorial. Um, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification. Bye bye!